women are still underrepresented in Indonesia's mining industry. In 2019, women comprised less than 10% of the workforce. <laughs> Those at the mining site have to live far away from their family. Female local employees have dual responsibilities. In some cases, women also experience harassment at the mining site. Hmm. Despite all those challenges, they are eager to work in mining company. You can see, more and more women are working as truck drivers. There are also women who work as technicians. Some investigate samples of raw or processed materials. Here, we can see that women are no different to men in terms of competence. In fact, investing in women can lead to a variety of benefits. Gender mainstreaming means broader talent pool for the company. Diversity leads to a more creative process and brings benefit to community and the environment. Women employees can also contribute to a less production cost. Based on mining companies' testimonials that most women truck drivers drive carefully and take good care of their units. Most women invest back to the family and community. Together with their partners, they can build a brighter future for their children. Now, let's take a look at the best practices. Diversity policy aims to improve gender imbalance in employment. Gender-sensitive facilities are common to be found in mining sites. One company even offers longer maternity and paternity leave. Protective pregnancy policy ensures the safety of pregnant women who work in mining company. See? Gender mainstreaming is possible. What can we do to involve more stakeholders to support the gender mainstreaming movement in our sector and proliferate the good implementation to achieve wider impact? <laughs>